Hey guys, Wayback Rewind here. Today I'm going to look at my HDV camcorder tape and compare that to an external digital HD recorder on a hard drive and see if there's a difference. Coming up next, here on Wayback Rewind. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here once again with my Canon XL-H1S. I showed you in a previous video how I could make it tapeless with this Samurai Blade digital recorder. It gets the output directly from the camera, bypassing all of the internal compression, putting the uncompressed digital video signal into the Samurai Blade where I can record it in Apple ProRes. Now that should result in a higher quality and I made a second video where I showed you the output of this camera. I took it to the airport and I shot some planes taking off and I walked around the museum and I showed you what that footage looked like. Naturally, a subscriber asked me, how much better is that video compared to the tape? And that's a great question. And you know what? I anticipated that question because what I did is when I was shooting that video at the airport with the planes taking off and in the museum, I also shot it on tape. So what I'm going to do now is copy this tape into the computer and then I'm going to do some side-by-side -side comparisons to see how much better, if at all, the digital recorder is compared to the tape. Now it should be better. What JVC did in order to get high definition onto a regular mini DV tape, they had to make some sacrifices. What they ended up doing was encoding the high definition video in MPEG-2. Now if you know anything about MPEG-2, you know that it's not really a good encoding format for recording information. It's more of a DVD format. It's very highly compressed. There's probably gonna have artifacts and they were limited to the 25 megabits per second data rate that this tape is capable of recording. DV itself was a very low compression algorithm. So it was using 25 megabits for standard definition. But here in the HDV format, it's using 25 megabits to record a much higher resolution picture. Now, that being said, they didn't do 1920 by 1080. They compromised to the half resolution of 1440 by 1080. So right away, the Atomos is gonna do a full 1920 by 1080. It's gonna do 29.97 progressive. This is interlaced and also the Atomos is doing up to 200 megabits per second and this is limited to the 25 as I said before. So on paper it should be no contest but it's going to be interesting to see the difference with our own eyes. So coming up next I'm going to show you the difference in the footage here on Wayback Rewind.
sorry. Uh, South 3035, South 3035, Hawk Tower, 1010 at 6, runway 4, clear land. Clear land, runway 4, South 3035. And there you have it. I compared tape with the Atomos external digital recorder at the 1940 Houston Airport Museum. If you found this helpful, please like or subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.